Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, in about an hour. What winter mod do I use? I use a mod called No Frames Winter. No, Danny G. She's not getting teary. It's all part of the humour. That's just Mrs. Squirrel's humour. Oh, the WhatsApp, Dave. No, I forgot. I totally forgot. Uh, I did think about it momentarily. And then forgot. Um... I don't know, Dave. I need to, honestly need to think about it, man. You just remembered. Puritan, how you doing? Welcome back, back D Davis. So this journey is going to be late, big time. We need to get some fuel soon as well. Can you believe Jurassic World game is on sale for thirteen dollars? You see, the worse the game is doing, the more they discount it. So that means the game is not selling. Would I ever do a restoring project, Corny? I don't know what you mean. Restoring what? Harat, when I have a cold, I find it better to order an Indian rather than Chinese. Just, it just detonates the cold. Oh, restoring a tractor vehicle. I'm not really a restoration person, though. I don't know what to do. Battlefield 5 is 50% off. Flipping egg. That's a serious discount for a game that came out, what, two months ago? Again, to do any hands on work. Right, Dave. <laughs> if you played it, help like it auto. Don't they normally do? If I remember when I used to play Battlefield, around about Christmas and stuff, they do like double XP events. You have a laser coming at you. Dave, don't do it, man. Like, seriously, you should not be allowed anywhere near a laser. I'm not even joking. Majority wants a battle royale game now. Yeah, it's the it's the in thing. It's the fad. The hung games mentality.
also do happy boy. It's a 5k laser. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know, want to know what you're planning on doing with a 5k laser. You want an answer to what I look at? How much my will cost? Go on Amazon and have a look. It's a Thrustmaster TX leather. Go on and have a look. It's so hard to see where the lane is with that stupid white line down the middle. He wants to cook popcorn from orbit. It will make a computer case. Dave, I can't believe you've actually convinced them to spend £5,000 on a laser so that you can cut cases with it. That's just not. really small. I think it's just the camera. Oh, he's going to give it to you, Dave. Why don't you just eBay it and buy a car? <laughs> Right, gotcha. Goon boy, thank you for seven months. K dog with four. Is Battlefield 5 on Steam? No. Battlefield 5 is in Origin. go in this lane but I just know that because we're in the UK it's going to do the whole lane drop off thing um, Elliot why don't you watch the video I have a video about it about different wheels and stuff The downside is you need to buy a new house. I can't put the laser anywhere in my current house. You know, I'm pretty certain, Dave, that that laser is classed as like an industrial piece of equipment that you can only use in certain places because it is dangerous. Like, you can't just turn it on in your house and start shining it round. But I don't know. Alan K, the kitchen's done, just need to get the bathroom done. Uh oh. This is not good. Wow. Only a Renault, doesn't matter.
Whoa, what are you doing, man? What the heck are you doing? You can't go in the right lane and then decide you want to come back in the left lane. Talk about trucks cutting trucks up. That was a Renault again. Yeah, you see, what happened then is that Renault, that last one that I cut up, radioed all the other Renaults in the area. And they're like, right, I'll get him. Preface cost three grand. Oof. That's a bit of an expense, Dave. Still, when you come to sell the house, it will look great for the estate agent. Like, you can list it as a benefit. Three-phase electric. <laughs> yeah, I know, James. Mrs. Frosty, have a good one. What is the AI doing now? Today on What Happens Next with the AI. how slow steam is it was all right earlier i was using it fine okay t kit kat <laughs> the institutional sunday night trucking t in a kit kat Uh, Grindock, I don't think the AI knows it's snowing. Like, he doesn't respond. Like, the AI literally doesn't drive, if you see what I mean. It doesn't respond to any physics. It doesn't know that I'm seeing snow textures. It hasn't got a clue. It doesn't matter if it's snowing or not. Four grand. It burns. It burns. With Frosty Physics, the AI is constantly rearing other cars. It probably changes some stuff. The way they behave. Uh, PRT Fabrice. Fabrice, welcome. Thank you very much for 32 view hosts, sir. Wait a minute, it's 7.26 a.m. It is so dark. Right, let's see if we can get something taking us up to Scotland. Level 100 Langevelt. That's going to be amazing. Carlisle back there. Dublin, Carlisle. What we had automatic Newcastle as an option. Carlisle with post packaging.
or Newcastle with honey. Welcome to the nut house. 20 tons of honey or 11 tons of post packaging. J Rush Pixel. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the nut house, J Rush. Thanks for the nitty welcome, guys. Honey for the win. Okay. We'll take the honey. No money, no honey. <laughs> uh uh. Do you know, I really need to stop snowing now. <laughs> it's like, okay, we've, we've had enough snow. Let's just go all that right back. Go to Poland. No. I'm going to Iceland. Happy anniversary. I need to go to Iceland and get some pizza. That's where mum went. Random AI today on What's the AI doing? Stuart Grant, thank you for 13 months. Oh, look, stopped on a roundabout. Look, giving way to truck. Oh, that's unbelievable. It's giving way to vehicles coming on the roundabout. Do you know, ever since they released that um, Baltic DLC with the change for Russian roundabouts, I've seen it outside of Russia. Wait, excuse me, but I have right of way, bro. Why do I get fined for that? Game plus. I love that. The cars dive onto the roundabout, ram into me, and I get fined. It's great. Mr. Elodie, thank you very much for 500 bits. Thank you. Wow, what a place for a random event. <laughs> right on the entrance. Oh, man. Ascending Phoenix and Stake Jake. Guys, thank you for your support. Can't talk. Thank you for your support. Welcome to the net house. Oh, it's like Welcome to the Ooh. nut house. That's the same guy. <laughs> Sub twice. Uh, honey. Uh, the guy was already on the roundabout. So you change lanes on the exit of the roundabout. Welcome. Yeah, that's what you do in the UK. When you come from, like, the south, and you go around, you go around the inside, and then you exit into the left lane, basically. This looks nice. You know what would be great right now is if if you were driving and you could hear the snow going like the crunching sound that would be great wouldn't it you know when you drive on gravel and you hear that gravel sound in the game if it was driving on snow and it was like that lovely soft snowy crunch that would be so good and then it left big tire marks Wish I had snow and all. It's pretty unlikely. Uh. 
Right, I need to get some fuel at some point. Prison Architect is now multiplayer. Interesting. How, how does that work, Bullets Co? Is it like a co op multiplayer? Thanks. You're welcome, Dibble. Thank you. Now, the reason there's no tire marks in the snow in this game is because there's no snow in this game. Like, it's just a texture change. Caught multiplayer's control and build a prison as if it were single. Blimey. That could be chaotic. Sorry, bad piggy, one sec. Goon boy, seven months. I don't see it, Bad Piggy. When did I miss it? I'm looking at list back to 8 p.m. and I can't see it. Honestly, can't see it. Was it like, what was it, your sub anniversary? There's no event for me, which is weird. Mr. Blackhawk, so 46 months. Merry Christmas. I've seen that somewhere else. I don't know, vehicle trying to go off a roundabout? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, you can fit though, Mr. Coach Driver, it's fine. Uh, Killer Galaxy. That one's a bit more than 130, but it's compatible with anything. You can tap one and buy the Bodnar USB cable. Yeah, but the Logitech shift is awful. It's just awful. It's like barely better than pressing six buttons. Unless you mean the G27. I'm talking about the G29. God, I, you can't see where the lanes are at all. Look at this. Can you use a Logitech shifter with your Thrustmaster wheel? Um, 
most Logitech shifters tend to plug into Logitech wheels, don't they? So, as, as TBR was saying, like, you need to break it out into USB if you want to use it with something else. Oh, the UK map is just so bad. The lane drop-offs are horrendous. Like, the on and off ramps are too thin, too twisty, too short. Like, it needs some love. Look at this. Like, every five minutes, you've got to, like, move over. Uh, one of the mods for prison architects is a roller skate for prisoners to escape with. LOL. I don't know, Prison Architect was a game that I could just not... I couldn't find... I didn't enjoy it, ultimately. I didn't enjoy it. I kind of thought that the Escapist was a, was a better concept. The idea of trying to come up with some cunning master plan to escape the authorities was way more appealing than trying to build a prison to keep people in, you know? I don't know. That was just, just my mentality, I think. Did I try escape mode? No, I never got that far. I, I remember the early days of the game. I remember going to... Um, oh, hang on. oh my god, give me a break. <laughs> I remember going to um, EGX. Well, it wasn't called EGX. It was called Rezd back then. And seeing it for the first time. And the devs are like really nice guys and they did all these blogs and stuff. But it, I just thought, this looks really good. And then I kept playing it, like, as the Alphas came out, I was playing it, and I just thought, yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> just wasn't my, my kind of game in the end. Every now and again, your wheel cam loses an image for a second. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, in all honesty. Some weird technical thing. I could try plugging it into a different capture card port, but unless I know what the problem is, it's hard to fix. Trekking Murray, welcome back. The airport builder game gets boring too. Bullets kill. I think, I think it it does initially get boring. Um, because there's not enough to do in the game yet. I don't know, Captain Flint. I mean, I bought the cable brand new, so... I mean, why would it work and then every now and again just drop the frame? How can you... How can you fix a problem like that? Intermittent problems are the worst problems. Like, I don't even see it myself. But yet, this truck sim retains so much fun. Um, as I said, I <laughs> everybody likes different things. Um, what's your name, Big Snugs? Everything like everybody likes different things. I I had more in common with escaping, the escaping game than I did with the kind of prison design game. That's just me. With this. This is driving. When all is said and done, it's driving. If you don't like driving, you'll get bored with it. That's why driving is boring in real life. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, I think I'll get some fuel. RimWorld is a game that... Um, Sakura plays RimWorld. You know, when he's talked, like, I've been in his stream and he's talked about it and stuff. I know it's, like, a really detailed game. I can see that. Like, I bought it and I, I had a look at it. Um, but the problem is, is it seems to have a really kind of steep learning curve to it. It, it's, it gives you so much control over your characters and what they do. So much control. That there's a massive learning curve just to even play it. And I never got past that learning curve. 
Mr. Japimon just came home from Rovermieni, uh, where I was working for a week, back to Turku. Seems that the whole Finland has a white Christmas. I wish you Merry Christmas and many more streams. For Christmas presents, I hope uh, more trucking in Finland, ETS, or my summer car. Thank you, Japimon dude. Have a great Christmas. Thank you for the support. It doesn't help in the UK at the moment. It feels like they're digging up all the motorways. Um, M25 like has had years of ongoing improvements, but most of it now is four-lane smart motorway, and it makes a big difference. Easiest to start, impossible to win. I remember, I remember Sakuriel saying that with RimWorld you can build this colony. And then at some point, the colony will just implode. At some point, the characters in it will just rub off against each other and the whole thing will just implode on you. So this is a typical example of a UK on-ramp in this game. You know, on-ramps in the UK are... Like, they're getting on for a half, like a third to a half of a mile. So you can accelerate before you move in. This... This is like something that you use to join Tesco Car Park. Puka Penguin, welcome back. So, we're just going to be here for a long time. For some reason, the traffic just will not move over. It will not move into this lane so that things can get on. Just won't do it. So you end up becoming a bully, Dave. You monster. You become a Eurotrip bully. <laughs> Savage. How are you doing, Mr. Balkan? I have been lurking a couple of times in your stream in the morning where you've been doing some racing. I think it was, um, what was it? Is it Road Atlanta, that track? I'm trying to remember. Enjoying Sunday before the Christmas madness. Do you know what? The missus went to Tesco on Friday. She said it is just ridiculously busy. And then yesterday she went to get some more bits that she'd forgotten. And she said, it's pointless going to Tesco the place is just completely cleaned out. Like, everything's just flown off the shelves. People have gone crazy this year. Yeah, I just lurk, bro. I, I mostly lurk. I just wander in. I'll be doing my thing. So a punch up in Sainsbury's today. Wow. That's my garlic bread. Pfft. No, I got it first. Pfft. It's my garlic bread. Like tugging each other on a baguette. <laughs> it's just like, it's Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Taran Shah, yeah. We'll have half each. Your family can have half the baguette and I'll have the other half. No, you've got the bigger half. Oh my god. You actually work in a supermarket these days, it's not funny. Oof. Blackbird, I'm not I'm not answering that anymore. I'm sorry, bro. I've answered that question so many times. I literally answered it today as well.
Market shelves are cleared of all the caffeine-free Diet Coke. Really? Oh, there was a sale on it, fair enough. Yeah, it's weird, that. Nobody buys caffeine-free Diet Coke. Well, I say nobody, but some people do. But if you put it on sale, there's suddenly everybody buys it. Hey, it's no problem, Blumberg, no problem. G27's on the shelf now. It's not broken. A lot of people use it for mixes. I'm not sure they would, Epic Gamer. Like, it, I don't think they would. If you look at the look at the motorway sizes in the game and look at the size, they could make an on ramp. You see? <laughs> oh my god. This is actually worse than real life drivers. They have plenty of room to make the old ramp longer. Like, they really do. Well, we're having, I think we're having turkey and pork this year. that was the meat choice. Although one of my daughters wanted beef. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't mind. As long as I get my pork and I get my pork crackling, that's... I said to the missus, I said, I'm not really bothered if you don't want to have turkey. Oh no, we've got to have turkey. I said, well, okay, but I just want my pork. Because they were saying to me, is it okay if we don't get pork? I said, look, it's the only time of year I eat the crackling. I want my pork. <laughs> I can live without the turkey. Twenty minutes in the shop in Morrison's took three hours. Oh my god. The thing is, I mean, what? What's kind of weird is that the supermarkets are open. What, Christmas Eve? And then I think they're open on Boxing Day. Like, they only close, I think, for Christmas Day. Where's the line? But people still go and buy, like, they're closed for a week. When's round three? Uh, about 10 minutes, probably. No, I'm not really an applesauce person with, with pork. Oh, wait, we're getting off here. Um, no, I don't, I don't generally... I put cranberry sauce on the turkey, but I don't put anything on the pork. Yeah, well, the other thing is, Lion, is... Even on Christmas Day, you can always find a fuel station that's open now that will sell you the basics like milk and bread, that kind of thing. There's always somewhere open. Chicken. I have a lot of chicken through the year. I really don't want chicken on Christmas Day. See, to me, Christmas Day is, is when you have something a bit different, like you have turkey. Because I don't eat turkey, I don't think, any other time of the year.
Yeah, I kind of, I'm, I can't understand why it's still snowing. I turned the, the rain probability down, and it's still constantly snowing. Something called flask steak, roast pork. Sounds nice. Do you know what though? I am slightly envious of these guys that live in Australia, and on Christmas Day they'll go down to the beach and have a barbecue. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy my turkey and my roast potatoes, but sat on a beach with a barbecue on Christmas Day, that that sounds good. You don't do that, Jones. Why not? <laughs> Trust me, you wouldn't want to be on a beach in the UK on Christmas Day. Hello, Nick. It's usually too hot. Well, obviously you can get a shade. Drink any diet soda, but you've been drinking caffeine free to reduce your caffeine intake. Fair enough. Miquel, welcome back, sir. Thank you for your reason. Moving to the left lane before it disappears on me again. Uh, Agent Truffles, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Hope Santa is good to door. I'm sure. I'm sure Santa will be good to door. Home player, welcome back. Uh, do you have any traditional Christmas films? Yours is Die Hard. Um, I'm honestly not bothered about watching Die Hard. Um, like, I know the story. I've seen it way too many times. But having said that, I always watch Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I always watch that. Like, I've watched it twice already <laughs> in the last few weeks. <laughs> Um, Trading Places is another get another film that I like to watch at Christmas. Well, no, it's not a Christmas movie, but it is about it. The movie's set in Christmas time, isn't it? That's where it comes from. Uh, do you ever go out for Christmas dinner? Um, Mrs. Squirrel prefers not to. I'd be quite happy to. I like. I even said to her this year. I said, if you want. If you don't want to be, you know, cooking Christmas Day, we can just go out. She said, oh, no, 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 I want to cook on Christmas Day. I said, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could happily just eat out and let somebody else worry about the cooking and the dishes. But she insists on doing it. Dana RST with a sub bomb. Has gifted to Marv, Fubble, Bartu, Victor Valley, uh, Ginger J, Sicarius, Daniel Murphy, TG Dogs, uh, GameX Hero Speak, and Rocket Specialist Noob. That's a good name. Dana RST, thank you very, very much for gifting. What, 10 subs is that? Thank you very much, Dana. GG. And if you just got gifted a sub, please remember to thank Dana RST. Super kind. Who knows the movie Sicario? 
Uh, is that the one with, um... Oh, it's his face. I'm trying to think of the actor in that. I know the movie. I can't remember the plot though. Welcome to the house. On Christmas Eve, I have to watch a Christmas Carol. <laughs> do you know, I do like. It depends which one though, Pro Drive. Like, which version of Christmas Carol is your favourite? Uh, thank you, Grumpy. And to you. Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin, and Benito Del Toro. In that case, I don't think I've seen it to remember it. Christmas Carol, I like the, um... Well, there's Muppet Christmas Carol. <laughs> you can always watch that one. I don't like the Jim Carrey one. Uh-oh. We're coming in for round three. Round three, the bake-off. Third and final round is coming. Wow. You're going to be impressed, guys. You're going to be impressed by this. Zar Mohab with almost five years, 59 months. Merry Christmas to all. See you next month for the big 6 0. Thank you for almost five years, Zar. That's amazing. Trotters, walk her back. You've never seen the Muppet Christmas Carol? It's actually, it's actually quite... Some of the Muppet ones are rubbish, but that one's quite decent. Oh, there's some good... This is going to be difficult. There's some good entries here. Oh, my God. Round, round three is going to be difficult. I'm telling you now. Um, Sander, I'm going to save the P.O. Box for Christmas, I think. I have got P.O. Box stuff, but it's mostly Christmas present. <laughs> USMC Vet, I like a Christmas story. You'll shoot your eye out, lol. Thank you, USMC. Two hours till Christmas. No, we've got it's one day in two hours till Christmas. And three hours actually. Yuck one here. <laughs> no Libby. No. Blimey. This is going to be a difficult one. Eh? Is it disqualification time? Is it disqualification time? You know where they get the cheating side from? There's only one person between us two who's a massive cheat and it's not me. <laughs> Hang on, no, I'm not ready. Right, guys, are we ready for round three of the Christmas Bake Off? Put that there. Let's do actually let's do that. And then we can do that. It says Captain Teleport. It's not cheating, dude. It's in the game. <laughs> right, okay. Um one second. The screen we want. So, this, uh, what's round three? Gingerbread house. Round three is gingerbread houses, okay? Let me make sure I've got the... Okay. Round three is gingerbread houses. What's this one called? This one's called the North Pole. This one is called the North Pole, okay? This is entry number one. 
and it's called the North Pole. So I'm just going to give you a little tour here because some of these are quite detailed. It's called the North Pole. Okay, give you a full 360 tour. It's very marshmallowy. Yes, it is. This is the North Pole. In the gingerbread house bake off. Entry number one. Let's give you a close up on the uh give you a close up on the reindeer though. There's the reindeer. And then you've got the Santa over here. Okay. Alright. Entry number one is the North Pole. I told you they were good. Those are your favorite snow blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, entry number two is Santa's Grotto. Santa's Grotto is entry number two. This is Santa's Grotto. Okay. Start at the front there of Santa's Grotto. We'll, we'll turn it around the side. Now, I'm spotting a disqualification item here. <laughs> I don't... There was something about... There was something about nothing squirrely or doily. <laughs> and I'm looking at the roof and I'm thinking, that's a disqualification. <laughs> By the rules. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Santa's Grotto. Okay. Okay. That's entry number two. I tell you, this is going to be hard, this. It's going to be real hard. This is called Mistletoe Junction. Entry number three is called Mistletoe Junction. Which is the front. That's the front. Mistletoe Junction. Okay, you can see how much effort has gone into these guys. Right. Let's give you a tour around there. You've got your snowman on the front. Coming around the side here, we've got the uh, the train. We've got the train. We've got. A, is that the driver or the passenger? I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's a bit far back to the driver. We've got Mi the driver. Mistletoe Junction. There, you see. This puts trains into to to um. Hang on. Let me just. Oh, I could do that for a sec because we've got a lot of green on this one. There you go. Mistletoe Junction. On the back lot. Move back so you can see the roof and everything. What are they? Uh, wine gums or something? Jellies, I think. Like little jelly thing. Yeah. Okay. That's entry number three. Mistletoe Junction. And finally, entry number four. Oh, oh. Elves Workshop. Elves Workshop. Elves Workshop is entry number four. You can, look, you can actually see right through it though, you know? <laughs> to focus on the ornate detail on this one. Elves Workshop, was it called? Yeah. <laughs> Elves Workshop. Ethan, Merry Christmas. Been insane me for years now. Keep up the good work. Merry Christmas. You're welcome, Ethan. Thank you. Okay. Elves Workshop. Okay, let's get the uh, straw poles set up. And then I'll show you the entries <laughs> once again. Okay, this is the uh, gingerbread house. Entry number one was the North Pole. Do you remember that one? That was the marshmallowy one. Entry number two was Santa's Grotto. Entry number three was Mistletoe Junction. And entry number four was Elves Workshop. 
Okay. Let's get that into chat. Right, you can start your voting. While you're doing that, I'm going to show the entries once more. Uh, entry number one was the North Pole, as you can see here. Complete with a marshmallowy igloo and Santa. That's entry number one. The reindeer there. Okay. Entry number two is Santa's Grotto. Entry number two, Santa's Grotto, is oh, this one. This one is the potential DQ. <laughs> Due to inappropriate squirrel logos being used there. That's going to get DCMEA takedown on that one. <laughs> Copyright. <Whoop. laughs> oh, now then. You actually made more noise than I did then. And, I, and you wasn't the one dropping it. <laughs> Copyright strike. <laughs> Engine number three is um, Mistletoe Junction. Which is the one with the uh, the train? Do you remember? Engine number three is this one with the snowman, the train. Wow, they're actually booming that! Like they're actually booming me, nearly dropping this. Ooh. <laughs> Unbelievable! It causes a mess on your keyboard. You can't drop it. I'm not pooping. And the last one. <laughs> Do you know, if I'd have dropped that, right, if I'd have dropped that all over the keyboard, genuinely, that would have been on Twitch fails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Entry number four is the Elven Workshop, the ornate roof. And don't forget, one that you can actually see through like that, see? Right, it's a gingerbread house and a fun game. So there you go. That's your lot. That's your lot. Cast your votes. I'm sure you can understand, guys, the huge amount of work that's gone into that. <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel was. She's not two days. <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel was up till like 2:30 oh. a.m. this morning doing this. Trotter's independent, eight months. I wish you and your family a wonderful Christmas and a good new year. And too many uh and to many more years of support and you. Thank you. And hi, Mrs. Squirrel. Hi. <laughs> right then. Okay, do you want to know the results? In fourth place, with eleven percent of the votes, is the Elves Workshop. Aww. Which considering the detail on that, it's mm. a bit disappointing. But anyway, that's that's what it is, eleven percent. Just drop to 10. <laughs> Eat the buttons. 10%. So uh, in third place is Santa's Grotto with 16%. 16%, the one that should have been DQ'd for a copyright strike on the roof. Got 16%. In second place, barely above it, was 19%, the North Pole. Complete with the wonderful marshmallow igloo. But way in the lead. Way in the lead. With the, I bet you didn't stay up till 2.30 a.m. making this. 54% of the votes. Mistletoe Junction. Thank you, fans. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Squirrel won again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did I spend three times as much time on this as everybody else? I may have hogged the counter and gave everybody else time to do this. But if you're going to work, use dirty tactics. <laughs> she definitely used dirty tactics. You use dirty tactics. I'm going to hog the construction time. You so definitely, there were definitely dirty tactics. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And can I also add, also, this also got a combination of the cake in there as well. Well, that yeah. Can I just point cake? out that that everybody else did a gingerbread house and you did a gingerbread I, scene? It's not my fault if I like, like to go a little bit, you know. But 
Everybody else made a house, and you went and made a train, carriages, a tree, a snowman. <laughs> like, I didn't win anything at Halloween, okay? <laughs> just, this is what happens when she loses it. When she lost on the um, on the Halloween bake off. Both every time. <laughs> when she lost on the Halloween bake off, this is the result. She just went like overdrive on the Christmas bake off. Oh my Thank god. You. Thank you very much. Well done, dear. You. you won again. <laughs> we should really start doing a reward for this. You know? Yeah. Surprises. Speech. <laughs> been planning that one for a while. Mr. Mr. Wakataku. Three, three days I've been doing that. <laughs> three days. <laughs> Very hard, you know. You, your roof slides. It's just not good. Tried four different ice. <sighs> well done, Mr. Squirrel. You won the third, the uh, third baker. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tina, we're having a good mood. Yeah, please. 